So we're at uh, Otter Creek. We're near the mouth of Otter Creek where it goes into Lake Michigan. We're here to look at uh, what contributes to the water quality, what contributes to the stream health and ecology of this place. So this is one of the many, dozens if, if not more, spring pots or upwellings. Um, they're called the Marl Springs within the Sleeping Bear Dunes. And what these are, are um, groundwater upwellings that come from um, beneath this giant sand and gravel hill, which is called a moraine in geology speak. So what we have here is actual, the, we can see the marl. This is above ground. It's exposed from all the topsoil, you know, here at the top. And the marl, if you, you can see all these tiny little shells, look at that, there's a shell right there of a snail. And those are ancient snails that have been, their families, if, if you will, have been pulverized through time and it creates this chalky white sticky material that water can't go through very easily through meaning soak through um, and it doesn't erode away very easily but what's underground is this same material and w water with a little bit of sand which we also see in here actually grinds away and shapes tubes underneath the ground and in the, that's where the water is transmitted is through these tubes within the model so this is calcium carbonate this is this is what actually uh, some of the early settlers came in here and they harvested this they mined it out of the ground and used it on their fields to lime them or to add nutrients one of the confluences or places where all these little spring tributaries or the, the the streams that those springs come from all merge together and then flow into the main stream of Otter Creek that you can see in the distance. So Otter Creek has pretty warm temperatures in it because of its size and dark bottom. You can kind of see it here like brook trout which are native to this area prefer cold water and so these spring tributaries deliver that cold water remember we talked about it earlier it's 40 to 50 degrees and in the main stem of otter creek it can be up to 80 or 90 degrees in the middle of summer so this is a really important refuge there are other species of fish in otter creek as well which makes it so unique and diverse. But there are warm water species like bass and bluegill and perch. They all like that warmer water out in the main stem, but they also serve as food for brook trout. So because of the influence of this cold water that is created by good land use and high water quality coming from that, you have this this community of fish that can now enjoy the same area, rely on each other as a, as a large family. So I hope you enjoyed that little introduction to Otter Creek, and I encourage you to go out, um, visit the site, and pick up a trail map. There's uh, maps right at the, at the trailhead where you, you see here. Uh, take the trail about a half a mile back, and on the right, you'll see uh, another signpost that goes off right into the cedar, and you can find the actual spring or springs. And while you're there, do some more exploring, write some things down, take pictures, anything that you've seen today, we can talk about and ask questions. Be curious, be brave and curious and, and uh, let us know, let me know what uh, kind of questions you have. And me, watch.